Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I don't really know what this is gonna be because I just felt an urge to pick up the camera. There was no plan, which is unlike me because I feel like when I pick up the camera, I have to know what's going on. But I don't know what's going on. So I have kind of an unexpected day off. I had a lesson, but it's one lesson. I'm going all the way to school and all the way back. You get where this is going. Also, I had a really bad cold yesterday, so I'm just kind of riding it out. You know when your throat, like, swells and all around here is just swollen? That was me. Very uncomfortable, painful. So that means I have a free day today. So I thought I'd just, like, bring you along, I guess. My lips are so dry and horrible. I don't know how to fix them. Like, my favourite lip balm is usually the, the Glossier, <clears throat> Glossier birthday cake one, but I've lost it again. I've bought it like six times. I can't afford to keep losing these lip balms. They're actually like 10 pounds each. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. So I've currently resorted to, this is one I got in like a, um, you know when they do those like vegan gift boxes things? This, Um, So I'm just trying it. I tried a lip scrub and I've decided I just don't like the Lush lip scrubs anymore. They're so rough. They're like full grains of sugar. It's, it's almost painful. Like, I don't want to rub that against my skin. And lip... Lip skin? That sounds so weird. But the skin on the lips is so delicate, I feel like it's cruel, you know? So, I was going to go to Boots to get some other kind of lip care. But I kind of decided against it because I didn't know what I was going to get. And I know that if I went there without an aim, I would just buy loads of stuff that I didn't want to buy. But I do want, you know what I mean? I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to do some stuff at home. But I don't know what. This is why I thought I'd vlog. I I don't really know what I'm doing so it would just be a weird day at home. I kind of should probably pick up my room a little bit because some clothes on the floor. Just a pile of random things on my desk like I don't really know what they're doing there. Oh my bed's not made and there's stuff on my bed as well but I tend to just sit on my bed and work. Is that a bad thing? I feel like that's not advised. By the way this lip balm has one of those things and I love these things like the thing that is like already shaped like an applicator so you can just put it on and you don't have to put your fingers in it. Love it. Though I have to admit, comparing this to the Glossier lip balm is sad. It's just sad. I mean, it was never gonna probably be that. I don't, I've never tried a lip balm that is like, like the balm.com lip balms. But they like feel so moisturizing immediately. Whereas these, it, it feels like it's sitting on your lips, not actually going into your lips. Disappointing. Let me mentally, just give me a second. I'm gonna mentally come up with a two list today. I know what I need to do because I, I know I need to write some essays, but I'm just trying to ignore it because I don't want to do it, but I probably should do it. I also need to edit a video and film a video and I'm going to have a bath this evening. That is such a busy day. Oh, I have planned the video now. Uh, what was on my list? <laughs> I have like the memory of a freaking goldfish. Okay, okay, the list. I've got to plan my essays. I don't want to do that. Change of plans, because I don't want to write these essays. And I've decided that I'm not, I'm not going to do it for a while. So um, I'm going to the town, to the town. Did I say to the town? I'm going to town with my father. But I just got really hungry and this is how messed up my relationship with food is at the moment. I got hungry, but I, earlier today, I decided that I was gonna eat breakfast and then wait until lunchtime, like lunchtime, to eat like a meal, like food, because I tend to just snack all the time so I don't even feel hungry. Like I don't feel the hunger feeling, but I just felt hungry. And my first instinct was like, I can't eat a meal yet because it's not proper lunchtime yet. And I said I'd wait till lunchtime. So I reached for my Bourneville chocolate egg and my Biscoff biscuits that I keep in the drawer next to my bed. And I understand, I'm aware that keeping a drawer of snacks next to your bed is probably not the best way to maintain a healthy diet. I can't believe it. Cause then I caught myself doing it and I was like, well, I haven't actually eaten it yet, but I was like unwrapping my egg. And I was like, why don't I just eat healthy food? Like a meal now, I'm hungry. Why, where is the logic? <sighs> 
You know when you're drinking and you're walking upstairs? Same time. I have a haul because I went shopping for the first time in so long. I only went to two places. I went to Boots and I went to Waterstones. Let's go through what I got. Sorry about the poor lighting. Honestly, cannot be bothered to change it. So here we are. First of all, I got a lip balm that I actually will use. I absolutely love this lip balm. My favourite lip balm. In fact, I'm going to put it on now. Not my favourite. I mean, we've already had this conversation. But my favourite is and always will be. Well, I don't know. Unless you can find something that is better than the balm.com by Glossier. If you can, please let me know. A drugstore alternative, in my mind, is this. Not like a dupe, because it's not at all like it. But it's so moisturising and it smells incredible. First time you use it though, look at this. Can you see that? Got a weird rim. So it's like a little bowl. First, very simple. Headbands, because I don't have any at the moment these i saw last time um and i saw them and i was like should i get them should i get them but i was like kind of going quicker than today so i was like no i won't get them and then immediately after i got home i was like i want them moisture socks basically i always do the thing where you put like after i've had a bath or something i'll put lotion on my feet and then put socks on obviously if you just use fluffy socks it's kind of gross and these are supposed to keep the moisture in don't ask me why or how okay now on to a couple skincare things first the ordinary um um, I'm gonna say this and it's gonna be wrong. Hyaluronic. 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 Holy poo. Hyaluronic acid. There we go. That wasn't that hard. Um, and B5. Hydration support. I'm assuming this is like you put it on after your moisturizer. I don't know. I just knew that I wanted something from the ordinary because I know it's good. And then, last for skincare, I got something from the Inky List because... I also know that this is supposed to be really good and the fact that Hiram has just released like a collaboration with the Inky List makes me feel like I can buy anything from the Inky List and it's fine because if it's Hiram endorsed then I'll probably want it. So it is the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream because they have two, they have a retinol one and a caffeine one but the retinol is supposed to be more for like aging whereas this is like for bags and like tired eyes i think that's what they said it's just i kind of love the packaging i always do that i like simple packaging and also i have almost run out of the glossier what is it called bubble wrap bubble wrap it's called bubble wrap i don't know i feel like it's called bubble wrap, bubble wrap. but the glossier under eye cream which is also supposed to be really good and it is but i've almost run out and this was in boots and i wouldn't have to order it I just haven't um, restocked in a while. The last thing I got from Boots was this. Oh my god, I almost friggin' threw the camera across the It's like um, dry oil for your hair, and it's like the Argan Oil brand. It's what they called Argan Oil of Morocco. Extra penetrating oil, dry and coarse hair, which, hello. Yeah, it's such a cute little bottle. Why do I find that adorable? Like, I have small hands, just for reference. I have tiny hands. Nice. Now, for the fun bit, I went to Waterstones. I bought two books. I found about eight that I wanted. Two books that I bought. Actually, I say that. My dad gifted them to me because he'd already bought my sister something that day and he was like, let me buy you a book or two. When it comes to books, I love mystery, murder, and romance. Like, these, this genre. But I also like reading it more when it's people, like, characters are, are my age. Late teens, early 20s. I don't know if this, this counts as late teens, but it's, like, teenager. Everyone knows this book already. Everyone, I'm telling you. And I've wanted it for ages, so I went and got it. There's another book by her that I was tempted to get. It's, like same sort of thing like a murder in a kind of school setting but i went for this it's a classic and i feel like i want to be able to talk about it when everyone else is talking about it so there's this one i'll probably read that in the next week or so okay update it's a few days later and i'm editing this and it was good as i'm sure you all expected because everyone loved it but it was good so if you haven't re read it i recommend reading it and i'm about to start the sequel so i'll let you know how that goes and then there's this book here genuine fraud I got this one mostly because it's by E. Lockhart, who wrote We Were Liars. It's one of those books that you read and you immediately want to read it again. And, like, you can't because you know what happens. And you'll never forget what happens because it shook you to the core. Like, one of those books. I hope this is the kind of same thing. Um, there's, like, murder, romance, fun, you know? I'm going to read this one after I've read 
one of us is lying. Thing is though, one of us is lying has a sequel now. So I might read this one first and read this one second so I can read the sequel immediately after. Or I should have a break. Let me know. If you are if you read books, do you read like the sequel straight away afterwards or do you have a break? I try doing that and I always end up getting tired. Like um, Divergent, I went for Insurgent and I just got... Is it Insurgent next? I got so tired. I didn't even finish it. Same with um, Shadowhunter series. I read the first one, started to read the second one, and I was like, ah, oh, can't bother now. Maybe I just have really bad stamina. Now I'm going to film a video. I kind of want to start reading it now. I might read the first couple chapters. I buy things and I want to experience them immediately. I'll read the first couple chapters now. And then I'll film. No, oh my god, I need lunch. I haven't even eaten. I'll read, have lunch, film. Done. Okay. The hiccup didn't come. My throat is so sore. <clears throat> the cold just never really went away. It's kind of sad. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> I just read the first um, two chapters of One of Us Lying or whatever. And now I'm going to eat. And we have chili left over from last night. Vegetable chili. I was going to say chili con carne, but it's not. It's silly. Chili sin carne? I haven't done Spanish in like three years, sorry. Sorry about like this. Now I feel really warm and sleepy, but I need to film a video. So I guess we're gonna go up and set up my room so I can film in it. <laughs> when it's front on. <laughs> okay, right. Um I've decided I'm gonna have this section as my backdrop. So I've gotta clear this stuff up. I don't understand this. Why are these socks not shaped like normal socks? They have like an actual corner. Can you see that? Tripod. Oh my god, my tripod is downstairs. Oh, I could cry. Just to clarify, I'm on the third floor, second floor. Ground floor, first floor, second floor of my house. I'm upstairs basically and I have to go down two flights and up two flights and I just came up the flights of stairs. I sound really lazy and I'm aware I am, but I'm tired. <laughs> I look so small. How do I want to do my hair for this video? <sighs> this, this is not the sitch. I'm just gonna touch up my makeup. Um, touch my makeup and then I'm gonna stop filming this. Which, I mean, to be fair, arguably any time on social media is wasting your time, but I'm not gonna say that whilst you're sat here watching a YouTube video. I finally finished that video that took absolutely ages and my throat is so scratchy so I'm gonna go get water and maybe a tea and then read. Oh my gosh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my book and I'm gonna get a tea and I'm gonna sit downstairs and I'm gonna read for a bit and then I'm gonna run a bar. Your breath is actually awful. I hope you know. Come on, let's get me brush your teeth. Hmm? Mouthwash? Hmm? Don't open it. Don't open it. Oh. God. Go away. Yes, ma'am. A lot of water under the bridge. Some of the old songs. Yes, ma'am. Mum's now made it into a dinner. Wait, so when are we eating? <laughs> what are we eating? Do we know? 
beans and cheesy balls. Beans and cheesy balls. <laughs> I've just had a biscuit, if you want one, it's some nice ones in there. I have yeah. a couple, I opened them, they're really good, aren't they? they are Don't they taste a little bit like Farley's Rusks? Do you want to bring the biscuits in here? I need to pass those. Can you bring the biscuits to me? Please. Oh my god, super annoying. Thank you, my love. Yeah, well oh yeah. I have been reading for a while now, and I've had dinner. So, I think it's time for a bath. I'm having a bath. Have I cleared up my room? No. Have I written my essays? Also, no. Is life too short? Yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna run a bath. Do my skincare, run a bath, chill, get into bed. What more is there to do? Read some more. I don't think I can really be bothered to do anything right now. I think I'm really thriving with not concerning myself with school, which isn't good, because I still have a few weeks left. But it's been like three years of the same A-levels for me and I just can't wait to actually leave and learn something new. So yeah, let's go around this bath. Before I bathe, I have to clean out the bath because apparently the bath is now where we store plants and my mum's wetsuit. <laughs> and if anyone knows my mum, when I say my mum's wetsuit, they're gonna be like, huh? My mum's decided to take up wild swimming. If you ever wondered why I'm so impulsive and indecisive, I inherited it from my mother. I move this. Oh no, my loofah. There is a pebble from the river. Oh my god, that is so grand. <laughs> these bath salts because oh my god they're like the rhs ones jasmine himalayan bath salt himalayan salt bath salts so good there's not much to say really see you later alligator okay once again me being me forgot to film an outro because i got into bed after that and just snoozed and slept and read my book so thank you for watching uh, this was just really random and really chilled, but it was fun and I enjoyed it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed too. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to, and I'll be back next week. Love you. Bye-bye.